This is the original board. First of all, be sure to turn off the power before wiring. Okay. Remove the original board and find out this is the fire line. Connect it and then find out compressor line. This compressor. Connect it. And there are two zero line, indoor zero line and outdoor zero line. Connect them. One, two. Okay. And connect the internal fan. This is fan. And the blue socket is for swing swing fan. It is designed with two sockets. If it isn't available, you can change the other side. Okay. The red one is the tube temperature. And the white one, here, white one, it is long, long temperature detection. And is a temperature sensor. Finally, connect the display panel. Okay, we can check. We are finished. Plug in and use. You can turn it on by pressing the display panel and also can turn it on by remote controller. It is more faster by remote controller. The green light turn on means the compressor is start calling. Use remote controller to check the swim function. Swing fan, it is work, work good. If the swing fan doesn't work, you can check the socket, blue socket. Reverse, reverse the socket. And if there is no air blowing, blowing out from the internal fan, you can reverse the socket. Reverse the white socket until there has air blowing out. Okay. There has two arrows shoes at the panel, display panel. If you forget to connect the two lines, first one is the room temperature line. Untun unconnected it, it shows E1, L1. And if you connect the temperature, long temperature line, okay, it works no more. Back to normal, normal mode. The others is tube temperature line. Unconnect it. It it shows E two, L two, and connect it. Okay, it works uh, right. Just uh, one, two arrows connection. Thank you for your watching. Bye.